Alright, what up, y'all? This so, is me and David's back to uh, talk about some shit. And wouldn't it be great, or isn't it great, that uh, the two worst corn fans on the internet are back to talk about a new corn song. Fuck yes. Fuck it. It's been almost three years since Serenity. And. I remember when Serenity came out, and I can't remember what the first track was called, the first single, but this, that had me like, oh man. Ryan just, Baines? Yeah, I think so. Whichever one had the, uh, the his little scatting deal, and I was like, oh man, that's like old corn, yeah, he's Ryan finally Baines. doing that shit again. And This one's kind of doing the same thing for me, because I'm hearing that weird, I always bitch about how there's no more of that, the head noise. Especially after he came back, the weird little me me kind of noise he makes on his guitar. The guitar sounds. Yeah, yeah. The guitar sounds of old, and so I'm hearing it on him like, oh man, you know, it brings me back. And yeah, I, it's some old school stuff from like their first three albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I, they hit Untouchables and started kind of veering off from the weird sounds and going into more synthesizing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I dig the shit out of the song. Uh, I like that. All right, like we had mentioned, uh, or just talked about a second ago, uh, is it's like the the first couple albums, but I would say probably more closer to Fall Leader and Issues as far as the old school sound, but with that post Untouchables sort of sing along chorus, like it's got to be catchy because. Before, before Fall the Leader, Fall the Leader was the first one that really started to dive into the sing-along parts. Because, yeah. like, there's no, like, sing-along shit on at least the first two. Uh, there, Everyone Adidas, sings along to those. <laughs> yeah, they sing along, but you know what I mean. Like, that... It didn't that, have that catchy... Yeah, like, that... Cor the chorus where he's actually singing and... Yeah, yeah. And uh, he practices before, you know, he sings it. Which you it. should, you know, yeah. whether you're screaming gibberish or yeah. singing. Yeah, he practices all that and you know he's like not one of those typical guys that get out there and just you know able to scream at everything and there's a lot more emotion just in the song uh, yeah. alone and it brings it, it, it does like I said it reminds me a lot of the uh, follow the leader and and even some of the the real heavy stuff in there in the the first album yeah, like, you know, oh, yeah. And then, uh, I mean, when you hear that breakdown is bad as fuck. Yeah, through. I mean, it has it has very simple guitar riffs. Yeah, um, you know, it's like six different notes. It's pretty much all. I mean, it's a drop. And that to me was something I loved about Corn was they would do simple guitar riffs, but they would make it heavy. Just yeah. you know, that's like all old Corn right there. It was, and there are some, you know, I don't hear. And the surprising was surprised me when the first time I heard it. I listened to it constantly for like, you know three or four times when I first heard it and I had to keep listening to it, what surprised me the most is that it didn't really sound anything like their last album. Like, it's, it's. I mean, their last album was, was to me, it was decent. It wasn't the best, but it definitely was not their worst. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but it, it, I was I was thinking, okay, Korn's going to, from their last album, they were, this is what they're gonna go with, and they may go with that more with that sound more with the uh, with the rest of the album. But from this song alone, though, it's definitely before "See You on the Other Side," like pre crap, is <laughs> pre, yeah. pre shitty music is what the, you know because that was probably one of their worst albums, I think. Yeah, see you on the see you on the other side makes me mad because like it has it's the one with the most bagpipes, you know, and for. It's, the it's a very uh, it's a very industrial sounding album, but to me it's like wow. If any other generic industrial band did this, I'd probably like the album okay. But th as a corn album, it was not a fucking album. god awful. Well, I thought the songs were crap anyway. So mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, like, there was like one or two. Like I know uh, what was it uh, the album after that? Like it sounds like I, I think pitch shit like uh, post um, pitchshifter.com pitch shifter would probably make See You on the Other Side a better album. That's possible. I never heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> they were they they they're rad, but before W before they started that dysfunction yeah. Dysfunction is a function. Before that, like I liked them a lot more. But the, lyrically, uh what'd you think about it? Uh, attention to the lyrics. He's saying the same kind of stuff he's always it. saying, you know? 
Uh, it's that to me is just the Jonathan Davis uh, songbook. Pretty much. You know, I mean, he he Let's never. Use these words. Yeah, he never moves away from uh, what he's used to. Yeah, definitely. Which he, isn't a bad thing, but at the same time, it's like I'm don't really relate to that kind of stuff anymore mm -hmm. because I'm a I'm a very happy adult. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not an angsty That's teen true. anymore. But I'm like, hey, uh, if you gotta get it out, man, if you're like still the, pissed off at the world and you gotta yeah. get it out. Lyrically, it out. lyrically, uh, it is very simple lyrics, and the story behind it mainly. I mean, his his uh, wife passed away a year yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. So you know, he's and that that'll fuck with anybody, right? And you know? I love I, the one thing I knew the minute we, I heard about his wife pass or commit suicide or whatever was that I was like, he's about to work on the new album. That shit's gonna be emotional as fuck, and that's one thing I love. That's why Jonathan Davis, will, in my book, will always be one of my favorite lyricists. Is mainly because even the lyrics are simple. It's how your how he sings them. Yeah, yeah. And how he puts it. those words to and throws his emotions. Now, the last album, he had a couple songs that were very that sounded that had that Jonathan Davis emotion, and the rest of them were kind of like you know going with the the uh, the, the steps. You know the you know. You have chorus breakdown verse, chorus breakdown yeah. verse kind of thing, and, and they got way too happy with that uh, pop song structure, that just the radio yeah. songs. They got way happy with that because if you listen to the first couple albums, there is structure in it not being structured. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, that's that was that's the, what I miss the most is the unpredictable nature of it, man. When you can predict where the chorus is going to be, if you can, mm -hmm. you know, you hear four, you hear four lines, and then here comes the chorus, and you know it. I'm, I you know get it's going to happen. But I mean, and another thing about this song though, it has that same similarities. But yeah, it does that, but breakdown, it doesn't annoy me. Yeah, the breakdown kind of makes it so better. So good. Me. I mean, it is a headbanger. That this whole song. I mean, you hear it. And you kind of you kind of nod your head to the, yeah. to the and then it just breaks down and you just want to just nuts. I mean, and, yeah, a and head banger. I hate it that we'll probably never have Dave uh, back in the band uh, on drums, but they do uh, they do this little hip hop drum thing at the end, and I'm like, oh, all right, you got me with the head noise, and now at the end you're throwing in these hip hop drums that that you know I'm fucking getting me right there. I'm like. Oh. Dave would have done that a whole lot better. Yeah. Uh, like we were, I, I mentioned a porno creep, man. So Dave was a great fucking drummer, and they've they've lost a, a bit of edge after losing uh, Dave, drum wise. They they lost a certain style that he yeah, had. Yeah, man. There, Fuck. I was, like I was telling Travis before we hit, did the video, this video, you know, it was missing that that the hi hat. I think. The one thing that Dave always did in a lot of his songs in the earlier one was just the, you know, where he's just kind of just going out on the hi hat and hitting the snare. But he's, and then on this song though, all you hear is like a little crash and some hi hats and crash. And I was like, it's a very boring style of drumming. Yeah. And I've heard is the drummer has had better songs. Like there were songs where the drummer was top out of all of them. Like he did better. I can't, I couldn't put a. It's been a while since I've listened to a full Corn album though. Um, but this song, though, I think the most, the, any, if I had to say the only thing that really is negative would be that drums, because I really, I did. The drums think, are very average. Yeah, they're, they're kind of like, yeah, whatever, you know. Like, they got me with the hip-hop part, but that's at the end, man. Yeah, it should have been, like, throughout the whole thing, and I, there were awesome. parts of it, like, you could just pick up, and you're like, man, it would have been better if the drummers did this. And I think it would have flowed better, especially it would have been more old. Like, it, that would have brought the old corn. Like, that little. Yeah, because you, you even get Fieldy's bass slapping in there. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's like, damn, dude, you're like, you're really, you're, you're on the spectrum of really tapping into that old energy that, uh, like, like we said, you know, like, like our buddy Josh, you know, we, we all want the first four albums again. I'm, 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 I'm gonna admit, I, I, those are my favorite ones, and I, I appreciate them experimenting. But you know, they kind of went this way, and I kind of went that way. It sounds um, like they're trying to veer back a little. Yeah, bit. they're trying to veer back, yeah. and damn it, man! Like each, probably ever since, uh, ever since they got head back, they've kind of tapped yeah. into it they're just a back. little with each release. Each album was like I don't even remember what was that album. 
the first the one. The first one, I think Paradigm Shift Paradigm when he Shift. first came back. I don't I remember. It wasn't too it's a very forgettable album. I mean, I'm sure there's probably, if I re-listen to it, I'm sure yeah, like, oh, I kind of like a few songs. Okay, cool, cool. I think I need to go back and actually listen to that, yeah. being the worst Corn fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go back and actually listen to that. Yeah, Everything and then pre, what, like, what happened after that? After uh, it was the new one from last time. That was the, Oh, it was Serenity? Yeah, Serenity. Because yeah. it was it was Paradigm Shift and then Serenity, and then, then this is the newest one. It's coming out. Um, now, see if they would have if they would have had head back on Corn Three. Corn Three, perfect. I don't look even would've without perfect, even man. without head though. Corn Three was the closest I think that they've gotten to the first three albums. Like it was heavy. Yeah, there was one or two songs that were generic, but the rest of the album was freaking like this was Corn. There's a pretty good and, shit on it. And then they went back to that fucking piece of shit <laughs> after that. Like they're like, <laughs> it was. I mean, Corn Three. I don't know. I have Corn Three is a part of my. I was in Iraq, so that's like yeah. it was part of. You know, that was the first Corn album I bought in years, and Corn Three was part of my heart. So I'll always be, be a huge fan of Corn Three and support that album. And yeah, there was like some one or two songs. But man, that album goes hard. <laughs> and like, like I said, it's not like lyrically, it's probably not their best. Like I think Jonathan Davis, lyric wise, he didn't have a lot of shit going on. So it was just kind of like you know. But the sound. The sound I mean, was even good. without head in it, the sound was really good. The bass was heavy and perfect. I mean, the drums were even. They just brought in, what's his name on that album? That uh, that producer uh, guy. Well, they just brought in the drummer. Oh. Uh, whoever the, the drummer is right now, I can't. I mean, no one. Yeah, I don't know who fucking played. I haven't paid attention <laughs> to uh, their drummers because none of them have impressed me. Even the, even like Terry Bozio, who is a phenomenal drummer and a really fun guy in early Frank Zappa stuff. Played on one of these corn albums, and I'm like Terry fucking Bozio. Here's the shitty one. A motherfucking amazing drummer, but doesn't do anything of note on this corn album. Like, dude, come on. Yeah, so I'm I'm really happy with the sound this current song. I mean, yeah. that, that was I heard it and in the I'm video. I'm trying to cool. overhype it, you know, but it's got me hyped. Right, and I'm really like I'm always I have to hear that second song. Yeah, like that's They always the thing. make two or three singles before they release the album. Yeah, so within the next month, song. month or two, because it comes out in September. Yeah, normally I don't, I won't listen to more than one, especially if it's a band that I, I just about like everything they do. Right. But certain bands like this Corn, I'm like, you guys have kind of burned me many times <laughs> over the past decade. So. You know, I got it. I'm gonna have to hear that second song. Yeah, Maybe like even the third one. I know. need that second song. If that second song sounds anything like this first song, uh, or even better, then I'm in it. I mean, yeah. they're gonna have probably a crappy song on this, but if they don't, I mean, it'll blow my mind because this year has been one of the for me for what I think is becoming some of the best metal from our time. You know, people are coming back. Like Slipknot's got a new album out. Or coming out in August. There's a lot of good shit that has Corn, come out. Deftones in the studio. They'll be having a new one come out. Now. Yeah, I'm, I'm hyped for uh, the Deftones. I only got one more Deftones I need to get, and I'll have them all. Finally. I love Deftones. Um, fuck it. But yeah, we should do a Deftones retrospective. Definitely. That'd be fun. That'd yeah, be they fun. would. Um, yeah, that would be awesome because I'm. In, I love Deftones. I'm a big. I'd have to. I'd re-listen to the whole the entire. Yeah, I, it's it's like sometimes I'll run across a band that I just slept on for so. You're like you really got me into them when we reviewed right. Gore a couple years ago, and but I still just slept on it. And I was like, yeah, it's cool. And then finally, I bought White Pony, and I was like, White Pony's the album that gets everyone into. Death yeah, Jones. you know, you're right. That's and the then, album that got me into. Death then Jones. I heard uh, Adrenaline, and uh, what's the one after that? Around the Fur. I'm like, man, these yeah. are really fucking good, man, and. All of them after White Pony, I'm like, oh, that, there's Minerva, things I like. I mean, you have, I mean, I, I, me, I, probably one of the ones after the White Pony albums. Uh, I love Diamond Eyes. I Diamond Eyes, that, that one reminds me a lot of the Around the. That one's when they start stuff. getting experimental even more. Yeah, and, and it's they had way the cell phone yeah, song. That shit was so crazy. Well, Diamond Eyes is way heavier than. Uh, the, the Minerva album. Yeah. That one's real soft. We won't talk about it though. I, I definitely would, uh, definitely gonna have to re listen to, uh, it's like it? eight Su Su or something. Yeah, was, the, uh, the Chinese looking name. I don't Chuzi know. Su or Whichever something. one's before Gore. I only listened to that a couple times because I was, I got, I was like, eh, but I'm a little bit older now. My taste has grown a little bit, I think, so I think I might have a different opinion of it, maybe. 
Like there's been bands, plenty of bands I've gone to, and I was like, this band sucks. And then yeah. like on your last few reviews, yeah. you're like, I went to them, and they're there now. Yeah. But yeah, they, yeah. This song though, corn the the new corn song is fucking. I dig it. I really you'll do. Never find me. That's that's the it's the bomb, diggity guys. <laughs> the bomb diggity. I mean, the I dig it. The bomb diggity. I ain't got much else to say on it though. I mean, there ain't much else you can just. Yeah, there's not much else you can say because I mean, it rocks. I mean, I'm I I, I 75 percent like it. The other 25 is like, yeah, they're going for that catchy rock and roll course thing that they've been doing for so many years that, you know, sometimes I like it. I mean, I love the sing-along choruses on Follow the Leader and Issues, but I don't know, somewhere after that, man. But uh, I dig the shit out of it. I'm really hoping that uh, the album is uh, is a good um, and is sit throughable. Is this uh, September 7th? 13th, mm -hmm. I think. September 13th. Uh, and then we got a new Tool coming out soon. The new Romstein was amazing. I still got to put my review for Romstein up. Uh, but the new yeah, Romstein was awesome. Where's that at? <laughs> Asshole. Um, but still one of my favorite albums of the year is definitely that Amanda Palmer. I plan on doing some solo reviews for the Amanda Palmer, the Chemical Brothers. I might even try to get John in on them, uh, on the uh, Chemical Brothers. and. There's another one. Yeah, the, the new Chemical Brothers, at first I was like really liking it. But then the more and more I listened to it, I was like, damn, it's not as good as uh, with it's what, something about the Echoes and uh, and Further. And I've listened to Chemical Brothers since I was in high school. So. Probably. I wouldn't so, even know yeah. it's out now. Yeah. I don't, even, I don't remember but, the sound of them. I probably haven't heard of them. I mean, maybe the, maybe the people watching, one, two random Chemical Brothers, Fans in the comments are gonna be like, You fucking fuck, G geography, no geography, so fucking good, or yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Tell us what uh, you guys think of the new corn song, yeah, like uh, coming from the worst corn fans on the internet, uh, directly to you. What, uh, what do you guys think? Because I dig it, and I'm hoping the new album just. We gotta get you to wear a different corn shirt and just call it on purpose. Let's just call everything wrong, <laughs> yeah. you know, in there the video on purpose. I don't have a different corn shirt. <laughs> I only have one. So somebody wear a see me. you on the other side shirt and then be like, "Yeah, man, uh, issues is my fucking favorite." Well, see, it was it was the untitled album of the shirt I wore, and I said it was see you on the other side, <laughs> but it was the untitled. See, I learned from that last mistake because of that. So I was like, wait a minute, because it's got the fucking bird dude on it? Yeah, which yeah, Which is from yeah. Untitled. The fucking bird dude. <laughs> and this is another, that's their second shittiest album. Oh, yeah, I love that. I love so, that. I, I remember I screenshotted, like, all the shit people were saying, because I'm like, this is great. I'm, I'm, I love it. I was like, I'm going to own this. When that one kid said, you guys are the worst corn fans on the internet, I'm like, owning it. Yeah. Owning it. Bringing it back. That is, that is, uh, I don't, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big corn fan. Even though I'm, that's why I'm so hard on mm -hmm. on you know this stuff that uh, doesn't please me. It touches you right yeah, here. Yeah, man, because it's like, damn, you guys were like hardcore for a minute in my teen years, and then hot topics change their. Yeah, I'm not a hot topic goth anymore. Yeah. You know? Now I'm a I'm a fucking whatever the fuck. Yeah, hit that like button. <laughs> As they, what are they, the hollow YouTubers say, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Put some comments, please. Hit our Patreon <laughs> up. Yeah, for real, hit the Patreon up. You haven't um, promoted that. Huh? You haven't promoted your Patreon. Yeah, I haven't pro promoted the Patreon in a minute. Uh, we do that. We only got one Patreon, though. Every month I get about uh, $8 because uh, it's the $10 tier, yeah. but Patreon takes some cash away, you know, there you for, go. so they can get paid. But yeah, every month is about eight seventy. Um but I got to uh, I got to make a new video. I got to like reevaluate some of that stuff because originally, man, when I set it up, I was like, "All right, I was laid off, yeah. so I had, had all time. the time in the world to now do shit." Don't. But then I got my job back, and it was like, "Fuck, I have I'm working like sixty hours or more a week. I have no fucking time to do shit." Yeah, you gotta so, plan it out. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna like re change some of the tears up and shit and feel bad for Kim because he's been giving me money every month and uh, you know I haven't, <laughs> haven't done shit haven't done shit sorry uh, sorry Kim uh, but uh, yeah er, so I dig it I'm hoping the album's good alright we will see you guys
next time. Peace.